Hi, it's Tim from Nexum. We're going to talk about corners and how to cut them and, and set them up. We've got some unique corners here. These ones are uh, acute and obtuse, so they're, they're odd angles and they're mitered. We're still looking for the same issues with uh, concrete. We're thinking of those columns coming down. So spots like this create point loads in our structure from above, so we want lots of concrete in this type of corner, which we've achieved here. One of the things to keep in mind is you always want to follow your insulation to the outside of the building. So we followed insulation around through here and that'll continue all around. So here we've got a nice cavity. We've mitered it across um, and just cut it with a sawzall and a circular saw. The bar will bend it to follow around in that curve and it'll be in the same process. Even in corners like this, uh, we still need to stagger our blocks and, and to keep our, our core pattern going. So I'll, I'm going to show you how to do that over here. All right, so this is uh, where, where we've laid up our second course and established that stagger in our corner. Um, our first one, we had the same miter. We've cut it through, and it's just like what I was showing you before. This one now, we've, we've changed, and we brought that stagger halfway back on this one. So we're bringing those blocks from back in there all the way through to here, establishing a change here and, and, and hitting that corner, and then doing the same thing again this way. So once again, we're trying to keep that column of concrete in our corner and, and that'll give us a real strong point load. On this one, we don't really need to make any paint marks or anything. We know this is here. We'll be building a buck around this to carry that up through and keep everything a plumb and level. 